Hi there. This video is a montage of clips that I've assembled while creating this. I call it the Tricube. The only reason I call it that is because that's what I searched in YouTube to try to find the original video, um, which is called the Cubic Trefoil Knot. It was created by a YouTuber named Pocket83, who originally did it with, in this size in wood. Um, now another YouTuber named Jeremy Schmidt created it in aluminum, however he went a little bit smaller. And in his video he says, it's probably best that it's small because there's a lot of material to remove and that would inherently take a lot of time. And he was right because this took a fair amount of time. Now if you want more details on the actual design of it, I would highly recommend Pocket A3's video. However, this video is just a summary of me building it, really. So as you can see down here, I threw it in Creo, modeled it up, and I used that to really see step by step what I needed to remove next, and that was really helpful. Um, I'm going to speed a lot of things up, just me talking about bandsaws and fences, things that you can hear and clearly understand, however, nothing that you really need to take time out of your day for. So I hope you enjoy. Firstly, put a new blade on it. It's 5.8 Pest French, I believe. I mark this up to a little bit more than three quarter or three halves. Sorry, three point half. An inch, and then marked it out on here, just a little extra, maybe a tenth extra, which, now that I look at it, looks a little bit small, so I might move it a little. Then I'll mill it to the final dimension of I drilled all the holes with a half inch. Unfortunately, it's metal, and metal kind of sucks to drill through, but I kind of knew that going in. Now, I do have to point out this stupid screw up. I must have drilled that one, but it's not all the way through. The other side's okay. So I had to just go big on that one. So hopefully that this isn't right in the middle of the path. If anything, I will have probably, oof, not much of the space around it, and maybe I'll just use that as an excuse to hang it from a Christmas tree. Either way, I set up this, uh, unfortunately this is a stupid grizzly bandsaw with no type of guide on it, so I kind of made my own with a 90 angle where I've checked up and down it. It's looking pretty good. And made the distance, so looking right down the blade, it should cut 
a little bit to the side of the line, which I will finish up with the bridge part. Smiley face guy is looking good. He's got a profile. Next, I gotta pick a different side to start cutting away. So, I marked up this edge that I need to reset my fence. Actually, I'm gonna double check to make sure that if they're, yeah, like this. So I'll, I'll make any cuts with this set blade distance set and then I'll readjust and mash. Oh well. I mean, it's a normal process, right? Yeah. I reset the fence. The best way that I found out, which this will look shorter, of course, was that I would pinch these up tight together and push them against the table that way. And then this I would squeeze together with my other hand and then slide that back until the blade matched right where I need it to be. So again, I'm not going to record this. come together pretty well. I've uh, come across some, not problems, but just difficulties clamping it in, um, mainly because, I mean, look at it, look at the shape, it's really screwed up. It's kind of hard to keep my zero with this parallel that I clamped in, but um, I was able to take a little block that I cut out from the bandsaw, just milled it flat, and I'm kind of using this as a brace underneath it to grab on below if it won't necessarily hit uh, the back of the clamp. So. Um, yeah, next thing is going to be chuck it up and um, mill out this black surface. Most likely I'll clamp it like this because you see there's that ridge. Um, I might as well take that off too, clean that up. So if I clamp it in this direction, it should be uh, just about ready. So yeah, let's continue.
her fright, so it is just about done, just for finishing now. Pretty sweet, I, I admit. I'm proud of this. Except for that hole. But, that shouldn't really matter, because with the boring head right here, I bored up the cylinder after measuring the diameter of it, and that should fit in quite snugly. Come in. Come in. Ooh, there we go. So, I'm going to cut that to length, um, try to hammer over the edges so it kind of deforms in the middle of it and holds itself in there. I mean, hell, I could just put some lock there just in case, but, um, might as well. But once I hammer it in there, hold, and then I'll just file down to make it flush, and my file marks, I will make it so I'm a, I go a click spring on it and you won't even tell it's there. But yeah, I'm nice and happy with this. Perfectly in that hole with no interference, a little bit of clearance, which was quite all right. But then I put it into the vise here, and then I used a ball peen hammer, the ball part, and I just started hitting it down, and now it's pretty much stuck there. So I'm going to do that on the other side, <clears throat> get it nice and hard, smashed in hard, and then I'll take a file to it, which when it files down, I think it should be pretty snug in there. If not, I'll drill it out, put some glue in it, do something different. Pretty much wrapped up. Um, I did a lot of filing, quite a lot of filing, as you might be able to tell by some of the finishes. Pretty nice. But every single time I would file, I would remove more and more material, which makes it more and more a little cattywampus at times. So I was kind of probably just doing more harm than good. Um, so I just kind of filed down all the the rough spots, all of the the drill wanderings about. Um, putting in some gouges, so overall it's just a nice surface now. And then um, I finished it up by putting some chamfers around all the edges and doing my best to kind of chamfer those those radii, or more so rounds, I suppose. But um, overall, I'm proud of it. Uh, I did have the dowel come up, and I had to make that flush again, but um, I kind of went with it and worked out pretty well. So. Yep, there it is. Um, yeah, so proud of it. I'll, I'll maybe at the very end of its life try to find some aluminum polishing or maybe do some wet sanding, but currently just the time and availability and need for that is pretty pretty slim. So yeah, proud of it. And um, if you notice that there is one edge that's flat, if you put that against it, it will stand on its own. But yeah, pretty, pretty happy. Good project. Um, took way too long, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a keeper forever. So, yeah, see ya.